In this video, we're going to solve the system of equations 4x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 29, 6x plus 2y minus z equals negative 16, and negative 8x minus y plus 3z equals 23. To help keep us organized, I'll use Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3 to label the three equations. When solving a system with three variables and three equations, we need to eliminate the same variable twice. In this problem, there's no variable that quickly and easily eliminates by combining equations, so we just have to pick one and we'll multiply to get the opposites we need. You might notice the z's are pretty easy to get opposites in front of when we have a negative z. Multiplying by 2, it'll eliminate with the first equation, and if we multiply it by 3, it'll m eliminate with the third equation. So let's go with that. Let's eliminate the z's twice. And we can start doing that with equations 1 and 2. Equation 1 was 4x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 29. Equation 2 was 6x plus 2y minus z equals negative 16. And we said we could eliminate the z by multiplying that second equation by 2. The first equation's unchanged. It's still 4x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 29. The second equation is now 12x plus 4y minus 4z equals negative 32. And we're ready to combine these together. Whoops. Multiplied wrong on the most important variable. 2 times 1 is 2z in the middle. Sorry. Now we have opposites in front of the z's like we wanted. And we get 16x plus y equals negative 61. This is our equation we'll label a so that we can come back to it later after we eliminate z a second time. To eliminate z a second time, we said we probably will do that with the second and third equations. So let's do that with equations 2 and equations 3. Equation 2 was 6x plus 2y minus z equals negative 16. Equation 3, negative 8x minus y plus 3z equals 23. And to get opposites in front of z, we need to multiply by 3 on both sides. The second equation is now 18x plus 6y minus 3z equals negative 48. The other equation, still the same, negative 8x minus y plus 3z equals positive 23. And when we combine those, the z's will eliminate, and we have 10x plus 5y equals negative 25. And this is our b equation. We are finally ready, after eliminating z twice, to solve our a and b together as two equations with two unknowns. a is 16x plus y equals negative 61. b is 10x plus 5y equals negative 25. And it's probably going to be easiest to eliminate the y in this case by multiplying the first equation by negative 5. We'll move over. The first equation is now negative 80x minus 5y equals 305. The second equation, 10x plus 5y equals negative 25. And when we combine those, the y's eliminate, and we have negative 70x equals 280. Dividing both sides by negative 70, and we find out, if I scroll down a hair, x is equal to negative 4. We can find y by plugging into one of the original equations, and then we can also find z once we have y by plugging back in way at the beginning, and then we will finally know our x, our y, and our z. I'm running out of time in this video, so I will show that process in the second video, or you might be able to figure it out from here, as the hard part has been completed.